Hey, Jeffrey, how are you? Hey, Scott, how are you, man? I'm good, thank you very much. I'm good. Uh, congratulations on the show. Thank you. Um, it's not often you get to do a job like this where, as part of your job, you get to read comic books. I mean, that's, that's, quite, that's quite nifty. Um, but also, you're playing a character that we haven't seen before. So how much fun was it for you to not only read, because he's got such a rich history in the comics. I think the 60s is when he first came in. So reading him and discovering about him, that must have been a, a fantastic thing to do. You don't always get to do that. Well, you don't always get to do that, although I've gotten to do that uh, a lot lately. <laughs> I've, been, I've been, you know, I've been reading uh, a lot of a lot of comics and uh, uh, over the last few years. And it is um, it. Yes, you're absolutely right. It's 1963 when we first discover uh, the Watcher. Fantastic Four. We find him on the moon of all places in the midst of a fairly heated uh, proxy battle between political East West and the watcher, uh, appears. And so going back to, um, to, to was necessary for me to understand obviously the origins of this character. And I discovered too, on the front cover, I'm, if I'm not mistaken of that, of that comic, he's described as the most dramatic being in all the known universes or something. So that's a good place to start. If yeah. you're an actor and you've been given a character to play, that's a, that's a pretty good uh, frame for, uh, for, for, uh, for a performance. So yeah, going back, digging in, then tracing him through and then trying to make sense of him through my voice. And really I, I for that kind of consulted with the, writers and the uh, producers to understand what we might be. And they gave me a great deal of freedom to say, hey, make it your own. Um, play your music, you know, play your rhythms and your idea of, of this epic greatest Marvel fan in all the known universes who also happens to be incredibly dramatic. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was a lot, uh, there was a lot, uh, there was a lot available to, to explore. So just try to do it yeah. and all that. Yeah, for sure. And also, I, I, I'm going to take a punt here, I guess, that obviously you would go into a recording studio, but given the situation, was this a little, did you have to do a bit of DIY recording to get this on tape? Were you in a basement or were you in a closet or were you having to soundproof rooms in your house that you didn't think you'd ever have to do? Yeah, yeah. A, a couple of times I, I was in my... Uh, in my closet in my house yeah it's a fairly you know fairly roomy closet you know i mean it's not massive but it's you know enough room that i kind of pull out my i actually pull out a uh a kind of drawer that is usually kind of socks and stuff and i'll put my computer on that and i'll set up the uh the microphone there and and then i close the door when i close the door the lights go out so it's dark um, but you know, because there are clothes all around, it's, you know, it's got a nice acoustic quality to it. It's all muted. Sounds good. Sounds dense. I got to run around and turn off. Like I've got a turtle tank on the other side of the closet. So I got to turn that off. So the filter doesn't hum through the stuff, you know? So yeah, it's very much, uh, uh, a DIY. And then I just kind of put the headphones on and, you know, and, and go for it and, you know, just kind of block out the fact that my underwear is to the right, you know, and the dirty laundry is behind me and, you know, focus on, I just try to focus on the expanses of the multiverse, you know, the multiverse and all the universes that they imply. So yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's good fun. And you can, you know, I can do it in sock feet and underwear, you know, and, you know, so it's all good, man. Why not? I guess yeah. that makes a change from, you know, doing bond, Batman, everything else. But I mean, just quickly as a final question, it must be exciting for you as an actor to not only be in these bigger movies, but to play characters that have a lot of depth and a lot of history to them in the books and in the comic books. Yeah, it's, it's. It, I mean, what's not to like about that? But, and then there's, uh, there's, you know, the responsibility of doing them justice. And, and I've come to understand, I think that, that, um, particularly now too, social media, there's so much chatter, so much, everybody, uh, you know, everybody has an idea. Everybody's a critic now. And even before they've seen anything, you know, there are, you know, there are speculation and there are affirmations being made about what 
they have not even seen. So I, I look at it and I go, eh, eh, what's that all about? But then at the same time, what I've come to realize is that because these characters are so important to people, um, and because particularly in this weird shifting time that we live in, those are the things of, of the few things that they can trust. You know, I can I can you know, I can trust um, these mythic characters and I can imbue them with um, with my ideals and I can find hope through them in a world that sometimes looks a little bit hopeless. Yeah, absolutely. So so because of that, um there's there's a lot expected of the actors who bring these characters to this, to screen. So I get it. I kind of get it now, and I uh, and you know I try to the best that I can to honor that and to um, and you know to bring everything I can to it to to make them you know uh, to make uh, these to 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 give these characters the you know the the kind of um, rejuvenated stories that or rejuvenate, I try to rejuvenate these characters in ways that do them justice and in ways that do the fans' passion uh, justice. Fantastic. Jeffrey, thank you so much for your time. Absolute pleasure talking to you. Cool. Thank you, man. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, yeah. Is that from the Goonies? Yeah, indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.